this expression, they buried us, but they didn't know we were, were seed. Even that, may I know that that dark period, it was a planting time. God was planting something because in that dark time, Kadria Ahmed, a Nigerian Muslim sister, who is a big media personality in Nigeria, we were on a shift. And then she came and said, Ben, I'm so disappointed they didn't give you this job. This was before the promotion came. Huh? And then she said, oh, I've seen this thing somewhere in New York at the UN. I think you as a senior producer, I am a, just a producer, you go for it. To be frank, I wasn't prepared to be hurt again. Right. So for many days, in that dark period, I just didn't want to face another wound. Kadria came to my computer the last day of shift. I said, Ben, it's just here. Go to this link, put your name there, even if you don't care. And so because Kadria pushed, I had to please her, and I put some application in there for something at the UN. This is how I ended up at the UN. It started from the time of disappointment, despair, and discouragement. A sister who is a Muslim, God uses. So another lesson here, when God is going to bless you, and do things for you. Don't limit it to people of your tribe or your ethnic group, people of your old school. If it's going to or be Or even great, your religion. Or religion. God is going to go beyond and use people that you do not know as long as you're on the path with him. So let's not limit ourselves and put people down because we have some little differences. In God, we are one. Through that, that's how I ended up at the UN. There was commotion in my office when I got the job. And for God just to prove to these people who doubted what I had gained. After a year, the UN came to me, can we interview you? And I'm thinking, I've now got this new job. They trusted me, I can't be going anywhere now. They interviewed me, I didn't hear from them another six months, then they come back and say, you got the job. I said, no, but you haven't seen me face to face. Can't you fly me to New York? Maybe my big nose will put you off. and You don't want to work with me. They said, no, no, we've done all our due diligence. We're just giving you the job. Now, so how long had you been with the, at the deputy editorial post? So that now? was like a year and a half. A year and just a half. Just got to prove to somebody <clears throat> that if you don't like him here, I know where I'm taking him. This must be God. And in the end, I had to talk to my bosses at the BBC. I went to one boss called uh, Mark Byford. He was, became head of the whole BBC at some point. Right. But he kind of liked me. He would see me on the <clears throat> stairs. And I'm one of the few. He was just like, Ben, is that you? And I just kind of, so I went to Mark. Mark said, Ben, we don't want you to go. I said, why? He said, we've put you on a succession plan. That is why we've been sending you to these conferences and meetings because we, they realized that the leadership at the BBC was lacking black. So I didn't know they had now identified me as somebody to succeed Robin Wright. But I spoke to Barry Langridge as well. Barry said, look, my brother used to work in New York. If you get the chance, you can go. Long and short of it, I told Mark Byford, Mark, look at the terms they are giving me. Every two years, they will send me and my family to Accra and Ohio, which the BBC <coughs> was not doing. If I were your younger brother now, and this opportunity is here. <laughs> which what, one would you guide me to? And I think that threw him a little bit. Long and short of it is, he released me to go to the... United Nations, he came to my farewell and he would look at the exit door. He said, if you go and they are not treating you well, the door is open. When he was saying this, I didn't pay attention. But later on, my colleague said, ah, did you hear what Max said three times? The head of the BBC, our part was saying, when you go to New York, you are not seeing top, as we say in Ghana. <laughs> you just, not many bosses will tell you when you are leaving exactly. that they will leave this place. Let's say you go now <clears throat> to Al Jazeera, and Mr. Kwesi Chuma and your editors are saying, Ben, Benjamin, when you go and Al Jazeera is not, just come back. We will always be here for right. you. So I just want to use that as a lesson. In my down moment, that is when God used a Muslim woman to say this opening, and that is how I ended up at the UN. You are